Our speaker this evening, she received her uh, Bachelor of Arts in Political Science from Vassar College and her JD degree from UC uh, Davis uh, School of Law. In 2007, she received the LA uh, Pro Bono Award for her coordination of pro bono and law student services to Hurricane Katrina evacuees. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give a warm welcome to our speaker, Chancella Al-Mansu. So thank you for mentioning um, Assembly Member Rumford. I'm from Berkeley, California, Oakland, but I'm born in Berkeley, and that's where he was from. He was a pharmacist, the first black pharmacist in California, as a matter of fact. And, um, but then he ran for assembly because he and his family were discriminated against um, and, and, and trying to, to purchase a home. And so um, that's when he ran for the assembly, became, I think, the first black assembly member in California, um, Brian, uh, Byron Rumford, and, um, and then worked to pass California's first fair housing uh, law that, you know, as, as Ruth correctly stated, you know, Proposition 14 came, basically people said, you know, you can't tell me who I can sell my home to and, and so forth. Um, and then there was a, a, a case, um, a kind of a case that mirrored it, it was out of Santa Ana, uh, California, it was a, a mixed race black, black white couple. They tried to purchase a home in Santa Ana and they were denied um, the, the ability to purchase a home. And so that case all went all the way up to the US Supreme Court. And the US Supreme Court um, found in their favor and so forth, which effectively said that the California, by prohibiting fair housing law in California, that was unconstitutional. So, so, um, so but California was the first one that had a fair housing law before even the rest of the country. 